I was visiting the International Eagle Center in Wabasha, Minnesota, I found out that Minnesota also has an International Owl Center. And when I looked it up, I found out that August 5th was International Owl Awareness Day and they would be celebrating at the center. So I took a day off from work and decided to make the drive down. I gassed up my car, grabbed a car wash, and grabbed my favorite drink and was on the road made a stop in Rochester, Minnesota at the Canadian Honker restaurant for lunch. Didn't even realize till afterwards that I was still following the bird theme of the day. It was a great little restaurant, got some nice lunch in my belly, and then I was on my way to Houston, Minnesota. I arrived at the Owl Center and parked on the side of the building, and the windows were decorated with various art from children around the world. I also spotted the owl mobile out in the parking lot. I found out later in the day that the owls actually come to work in the owl mobile. They live in a sanctuary nearby and drive in every day. The owl center was celebrating Owl Awareness Day, so they had free admission as well as multiple presentations throughout the day. When you enter the Owl Center, you enter through the gift shop, so you leave and enter through the gift shop. And you can see more of that amazing artwork I found out was from children all over the world, mostly international. And they were using some of that artwork to raise money for children of the Ukraine. And they had raised quite a bit of money through the prints as well as through these really cool card sets that they were selling. And they had a lot of really great owl related merchandise in gift shop like this gift shop was really good i could do some damage easily in there You can shop all of this great merchandise actually on the Owl Center's website, which I think is pretty cool. So if you want to check that out, you can. I showed up just in the nick of time for one of their presentations to begin, and I'm going to let the founder tell you why the Owl Center is in Houston, Minnesota. The questions people always ask is why on earth do you have an international Owl Center in Houston, Minnesota? And everybody's going, uh huh. You wouldn't say, let's start an international Owl Center and put it in Houston, Minnesota. So it started kind of accident. We never planned to do it. It was an accident. Um, you're many of you are probably familiar with the Red River Bike Trail. Um, we spent 10 years trying to get it to Houston and then had to do some things via trailhead. So the Citizen Planning Committee said, hey, let's have a nature center because there's no nature center anywhere in Houston County or on the bike trail. Um, so let's have one. So the purpose of it was dual. It was environmental education as well as tourism. I got involved in that. Other nature center directors said, start doing programming before you have your building built. So I was interested in birds of prey. I thought, well, let's get a non-releasable bird and start doing programs. Alice the Great Horned Owl is who was available back in 1998. So we started doing programs. The center was built in 2001. I thought, well, how do we put environmental education and tourism together? Came up with the idea of, let's do a hatch day party for Alice, because she hatched in late winter. There's nothing going on in late winter. And the first year, 300 people showed up. I thought, well, that was pretty good. Let's keep doing it. Within a few years, we had people flying in from all over the country. When we started getting more than 1,000 people coming to the festival, which is more than the population of our town, we kind of thought, there's a wolf center, a bear center, a crane center, an eagle center. There's no all Iowa education center. So, ta-da, that's why we're here. Love how up close and personal you are with these owls the entire visit. They are, um, two of them are just free range, so they can go wherever they want. And the rest of them that are smaller owls are caged to protect themselves from the bigger owls. Because <laughs> bigger owls will eat smaller owls. Carla gave a great presentation on ways that we can use conservation and best practices to protect owls in our natural environments here in Minnesota and beyond. Afterwards, I got to go around and meet all of the great owl ambassadors. Um, this one 
was uh, in particular <laughs> that sign, Beware Attack Owl. They said that that owl can be pretty vicious. It's only bonded to Carla, I believe, and otherwise it will attack anybody else who opens the cage and tries to get in there. So I did not even realize that we have these type of owls in Minnesota, these little burrowing owls. I had no idea. They're so cute and tiny. This one was really hard to see. I wish I could have seen them better. It's an Eastern Screech Owl, JR, but a little shy, kind of hiding out in their little box the entire time. So after the presentation, I went shopping, of course. I got so many great things. A couple things were gifts for some people, so it wasn't all for me, but I really love that necklace I got. I think that's my favorite thing I picked up. So I was there for the next presentation, and this was a great presentation on ways uh, to teach us like the different calls that owls make and their silhouettes so that you could identify owls in the wild. This presenter, she was a little younger. She was extremely charismatic and really fun to listen to present as well as afterwards to chat with. She was just super friendly and personable, a really great steward for knowledge. Come here. Come here. <laughs> 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 I'm so silly. She's got that two-year-old energy. Mm -hmm. Just, uh, mm -hmm. Oh, hi. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> seriously could have watched that little owl all day. So cute. Like a kitten. I guess it was hatched in May of this year, so it was just a baby. So it was very playful. Rusty Museum has a lot of really great um, exhibits and taxidermy, so you can see a lot of the owl species kind of in person, what they look like, what their size is. There were some great displays of different owl um, memorabilia and things like that. This was apparently a rotating collection where it would swap out different things from time to time. They had some owl wings that you could pick up and take a look at, as well as some different owl parts under the glass as well. Lots of information about conservation. Here's some different uh, owl safe ways to control vermin. And I thought this was really cool. This map was like different people putting how you say owl in their languages from around the world. So I thought that was neat too. And here's just kind of a final look at some of our owl ambassadors. It was a really great stop. I'm glad I made the drive and I'm glad I went for International Owl Day. If you want to support the center, you can go to their website, make donations, or buy some of their merch to support them. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.